Okay, so this is where I'm gonna start getting angry. Because I don't think that we need to go this fast. And I don't think we should pay a million dollars to do it. <laughs> Let's get crazy! News flash, hot shot, electric cars are pretty fast. I don't know if you've heard. Today, we're gonna take a look at how insanely, stupidly fast they've become in the past few years because they weren't always like this. I'm James, he's the monolist, and this is the D D D D D list Are we rolling? Rolling. Great. Big thanks to Off The Record for sponsoring today's video. Labor Day, it's over. You ate burgers, you belly flopped in the pool, and everyone laughed. <laughs> 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 but what was that? Your hot boy summer got a little out of hand and now you got a hot boy speeding ticket? Well, fear not, courageous belly flopper. The Off The Record app is here to help. With a quick download, you'll be connected with trusted local attorneys to fight off that ticket. It's easy, stress-free, and with a 97% success rate, why haven't you downloaded it already? Yes, I'm talking to you, Nicholas. So register now and use code DONUT to save 10% off your first ticket at offtherecord.com slash donut. We've got a lot of cars on this list, but we're not talking about every electric car ever. In fact, electric cars have actually been around since the 1800s, but most of these old timey cars couldn't even get to 60 miles per hour ever. Our list actually begins in the 1960s when Chevy was experimenting with electrification, just like Nolan. GM took the rear engine Corvair and dropped in a 115 horsepower AC motor and about 1,000 pounds of silver oxide batteries. And they called it the Electrovair. And it jolted from zero to 60 miles per hour in an astonishing 16 seconds. Not only was it slow, but the silver oxide batteries were expensive and had to be thrown into the ocean after only 100 recharge cycles. The technology just wasn't there yet, so Chevy killed it and sent it to hell, where all cars go when they die. There were some other EV attempts in the 70s, but nothing fast enough for the good old monolist. I asked the monolist if we could include the Chevy Electrovet, and he shocked me. <laughs> so we're gonna skip the 70s, and we're gonna skip the 80s, and we're gonna jump right into the 90s, when Chrysler debutted the TE van, which I assume is actually pronounced Teven. This is a town and country minivan, fun, with a 65 horsepower DC motor from the factory. And at the time, a few car companies were offering electric versions of their normal cars. There was an electric RAV4, a Geo Prism, and even a Ford Ranger. But the monolist insisted that I only include the Teven Please don't shock me again. I'm a prisoner. They won't let me leave. And what's even better is the Teven was a bargain at only $120,000 in 1993 money for a freaking 65 horsepower minivan. That's a lot of money. Must have been pretty fast, huh? Yeah, this sucker ripped a 60 in a whopping 17 seconds. They keep saying they're gonna get me stronger magnets. That is slower than the Electrovere, which was made in the 60s. What are we doing? Again, the technology just wasn't quite ready. But that would change almost immediately because just a few years later, another car debutted that would revolutionize the EVC. The 1997 General Motors EV1. This bad boy was a game changer. Just like 50 Cent changed the game's life. It was the first mass produced modern electric car. It had a range of 300 miles, which is pretty good even by today's standards. And the people who leased these loved them until General Motors took most of them away and crushed them for some reason. But when they weren't being crushed, they got to 60 miles per hour in a relatively, for the time, blistering 10 seconds. But the era of double digit zero to 60 times was about to end. Let me introduce you to a company called AC Propulsion. They shocked the world when they dropped this, the T0. The T0 was based on a kit car called the Piontech Sport Tech. 
It's a little redundant name, which normally came with a Suzuki engine. And I yanked that sucker out, dropped in 28 Optima lead acid car batteries and an electric motor. It made 200 electric horsepower and was able to go up to 60 in 4.07 seconds. We just jumped from 10 seconds to four seconds. And for reference, a supercharged Mercedes E55 AMG from that year did zero to 16, 4.2 seconds. And after AC propulsion switched to the more efficient lithium ion batteries in 2003, it cut the zero to 60 time to 3.6 seconds. That's as fast as a Carrera GT. Which last time I checked is a Porsche, which Jay Leno says is the scariest time he's ever been in a car. He told me that when we were in a car together. By the way, lithium ion batteries have a higher energy density that lets you crank more juice out of them. It's called science. They also have a longer life cycle than the weak ass caveman batteries that used to be used in electric cars. You could say they changed the game, just like 50 Cent, changed the game's life. You could also say the T0 changed the game because it laid the groundwork for a car that you might have heard of. Enter Grimes's baby daddy and the Tesla Roadster. You see, the dudes who founded Tesla took a spin in the T0 and decided that they wanted to make their own fast electric Roadster. So they did. The Tesla Roadster was based on a Lotus Elise chassis and was the first highway legal car to run on those fancy lithium ion batteries I mentioned four seconds ago. And it's the first road legal car to be launched into space. Check out this super old donut video where we launched a toy Tesla into space. According to Tesla, the Roadster went zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. It's not bad. Spoiler alert, this ain't the last Tesla you're gonna see on this list. So we've already broken into the three second zone and we're only four minutes into this video. It's pretty safe to say the things are gonna get a little bit bonkers. But remember, we're still all the way back in 2008 and it's gonna take a few years for other car companies to get anywhere close to these insane times. You don't believe me? The 2010 Nissan Leaf only went zero to 60 in 7.5 seconds. Everybody always says to me, James, the 2010 Nissan Leaf is one of my favorite sports cars. Why don't you do an up to speed on it? And I always respond, because it only went zero to 60 in 7.5 seconds. But things were about to start heating up in the 2010s. Most of the electric cars during this time period weren't really marketed as performance cars. And the monoliths threatened to zap me if I mention them. But one thing I am allowed to mention is the Mercedes SLS AMG electric drive. Mercedes, yeah, those guys, crammed four electric motors into their Gullwing supercar. That's one motor for each wheel if you're keeping score at home. It's also one motor for each of Nolan's toes. The guys climbed Everest and he came back with a few less foot fingers. It made about 750 horsepower, a full 100 horses more than the V8 powered SLS. And it only cost half a million dollars. I could buy four of them. And it did zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. And when Audi saw the SLS electric drive, they decided that they wanted to do one too. So they made the R8 e-tron. It also hit zero to 60 in 3.9 seconds. The R8 and the AMG were quick. They were huge sales failures. Around this point in time, electric cars were either fast and impractical or slow and impractical. But that changed with a little man named Elon Musk and a little car called the Tesla Model S. When the Model S came out in 2012, it hit zero to 60 in 4.4 seconds. But just between you and me, it's not the last Tesla you're gonna see on this list. The next Tesla you're gonna see on this list is right now, the Model S P85D. Did you ever see that movie Crank 2 High Voltage where Jason Statham has to lick a car battery and get really amped and starts running extremely fast? That's exactly what the P85D is. Exactly. It goes zero to 60 in a completely normal and not at all unnecessary or annoying 3.1 seconds. Even more normal and not unnecessary is the Model X P90D, which hits zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. Why? 
I don't know. There aren't very many other cars from the 2010s that can match that. Thought about mentioning the Jaguar I-Pace, but again, I was threatened by the monolist. The only car from that decade that really holds a flame to the Model S is a Croatian hypercar called the Remac Concept One. Nolan has a video about this company coming out soon. They're one of my favorite car companies right now. So you should watch it to make sure you don't miss it. Uh, hit that subscribe button. It costs over a million bucks and it managed to do zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna start getting angry. All right, because I don't think that we need to go this fast and I don't think we should pay a million dollars to do it. I mean, at this point, just buy a freaking airplane. Now this one's gonna be hard to top. Right? Well, I got a bunch more magnets over here. So let's get, let's get crazy. So my favorite decade, the 2020s has to offer best two years in history. It's so much fun. We're having a great time. Audi RS e-tron GT Quattro it costs $140,000 and just took first place for the longest name on this list. This word salad goes zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. <sighs> Mustang Mach-E GT! Is it a real Mustang? I don't care. Do you? Let me know in the comments. Zero to 60, 3.6 seconds. Oh, hi T0, my name is Mustang Mach-E. I'm an SUV. Speaking of Fords, 2022 Ford Lightning, Lightning, Lightning! If you watched our video about fast trucks, you already know how ridiculously fast that these things are gonna be. And I say gonna be because they're not actually available to buy yet. There's also a few other vehicles coming up on this list that claim to do some pretty insane zero to 60 times, but we're gonna put an asterisk next to them since uh, they haven't been proven yet. Anyway, the Lightning's highest trim boasts 563 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque. It also has a 300 mile range. It goes zero to 16, 4.4 seconds. 2024 Hummer EV. GM claims it can do zero to 60 in three seconds in a Hummer. Have you ever seen a Hummer? I haven't, but I heard they're really big and definitely not very fast looking. But then Tesla was like, you know what, F it. Let's make a truck that goes even faster. The Cybertruck, which again, I would like to reiterate, is not a tangible truck that you can buy at this point in time. It has not officially been tested, but it will allegedly rock to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. But that's nothing compared to the Rivian R1T. The company says it'll somehow do zero to 60 in three seconds flat. That's as fast as the 2021 Lotus Avaja would. First Lotus on this list, if you don't count the Tesla Roadster. The Avija Wood is a very expensive aerodynamic supercar. The Cybertruck is a monolist on wheels. What I'm saying is, this is apparently just as fast as that. But if you ask me, this list doesn't have enough P on it. That's right. It's time to mention the P car, Taken Turbo S. The Tesla killer from Stuttgart. They named the car Turbo. After the 2013 animated feature film about the smallest, fastest snail in the world. How fast can this P car blast? Try 2.6 seconds. But this car named after the bird from the cereal isn't the only luxury sedan giving Tesla a run for its money. Lucid is an EV company that makes insanely fast, cool cars right here in LA, and Jeremiah got to hang out with the founder. The Lucid Air Dream Edition is a $169,000 sedan that can hit zero to 60 in 2.5 seconds, according to them. But before we get into the ones, the next number I'm gonna say might be the most impressive one on this list. The 2022 Tesla Semi will allegedly hit 60 miles per hour with a full payload. We're talking 21 tons in 20 seconds. All right, a fully loaded diesel truck right now takes five minutes to do that. Without the 21 tons of logs, 21 tons of logs, it'll hit zero to 60 in five seconds. It's a semi truck. Speaking of, how about the 2022 Tesla Model S Plaid? You know, from Spaceballs. Cause Elon Musk is so funny. From Spaceballs? Oh, it's named after Spaceballs. He's a cool billionaire. Tony Stark's new car hits zero to 60 in 1.99 seconds. Baby, we are officially 
in the ones. You remember the Remac that's been on the top of the list since 2013? Well, they made another car and it's a little faster. I'm talking about the 2021 Navara, as in you're Navara gonna own one. <laughs> First of all, uh, I just wanna say that this is a hyper car. It costs over $2 million. They say it'll have a 340 mile range and something called an AI driving coach. I talked to the guys at Remac when I went to Geneva a couple years ago. Yep, I wore a turtleneck. And they actually have like active torque vectoring. So if you're in a situation where it would help turn the car, one or more of the wheels will actually go backwards for a fraction of a second. But none of that matters. And in fact, nothing in this world matters anymore because apparently it goes here to 60 in 1.85 seconds. What? Paninfarina Batista. <laughs> we covered this car uh, in that same trip to Geneva a couple years ago on the old bumper to bumper. And my feeble human body hath been graced by this divine 1900 horsepower electric hypercar. How fast do they say it'll hit 60? I don't know, 1.8 flat. Ass Park Owl. This Japanese supercar company claims that their car will go zero to 60 in 1.7 seconds. But you know what? I've been thinking, and that's a little too slow. Every single car on this list is a little too slow. You wanna know why? Because Tesla Motors says they've got a car that's even faster, and not just a little bit faster either. They say their new car is more than half a second faster than the 2,000 horsepower pin in for 2022 Tesla Roadster, the next gen Roadster, has a claimed zero to 60 time. I'm not making this up. It's what their website actually says. Of 1.1 1. 1 seconds. Think about that. That's this long. 1 1,000. Is there anything real? The only thing stopping us from instantaneous acceleration is traction. So unless tire companies can step up their game, I can't possibly imagine cutting this time down any further. They're talking about putting rockets on the thing to glue it to the ground. I've come to the conclusion that electric cars need to chill out. Give her the beans, James! Give it the beans. Give it some beans. Give it the beans. I gave it too many beans. Couple beans. Give it the <laughs> Give me some beans, baby. Forward! Oh. We said it a lot, you heard it a lot, and now it's on a freaking shirt. The Give It The Beans t-shirt is officially here. It's got a cool little Give It The Beans hit on the front and a Tacoma with all the high-low fixes on the back. Get yours right now at DonutMedia.com, only $29.98, which is so much less than $30. Get yours before supplies run out and Give It The Beans. <laughs> That's enough beans. Thank you for watching this. Uh, I know I skipped a few cars. I'm sure 100 more new electric cars will be announced by the time this video comes out. Follow Donut Media across socials at Donut Media. Follow me at James Pumphrey. And if you wanna see what's happening on the Donut Underground this week, consider hitting that join button below. I love you.